guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today it is very rainy outside, but that doesn't matter. I am still going to film for you. What I'm going to film for you is a makeup collection update. Wait, I've actually never done one of these. I thought I've done one of these, but I haven't. So this is not my updated. It's actually brand new, first time ever, yay! So I hope you enjoy, let's get into the video. Right in front of my main makeup compartment is this, which is a mirror that I use to do my makeup. Oh, hold on. There you are. Hi. So I have that under the pile. And I just have this little makeup bag that I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. And then I just have my fake eyelashes which there's nothing in it because I'm currently wearing the ones left so this is what I mainly keep my makeup in I have a separate little container but that will be also in this video to more towards the end though this first drawer to the right what I have in here in here I have my mascaras and then stuff to apply my false eyelashes with so I have this Clump, please ignore the rain. It's really rainy where I live right now. Right here I have my clump crusher from CoverGirl. And then I have Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I have this Clinique mascara, this Lash Doubling mascara, the one in the silver tube. That's just a trial size. I have a lot of lipsticks, so I just stick as many lipsticks as as I can in little places because they didn't all fit up here but I have my Rimmel Stay Matte powder and then I have three Clinique lipsticks I have Sugared Grapefruit Matte Petal and Think Bronze in this lar first large drawer I have again two lipsticks this is a Vivid Liquid Matte by Maybelline in the shade 5 Nude Thrill. I'm just going to give you a big hint on these. They don't actually dry matte and this isn't my favorite thing in the world. I just keep it to mix colors with sometimes. And then I have this lip gloss that Lainey gave me in a box swap. It's a great lip gloss. I just use it more in the summer because I don't really wear glossy lips that much. In the winter I usually wear more matte lips. It is a silly city color contouring effects. And then under that I have this NYX the Go To palette. It's the LA one. And then I have this Wet n Wild blush. This it is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And then my bottom drawer is the stuff I use the least. I have, starting off, a Sephora mirror. And then I have this City Color Sunkissed Trio that my sister got me a while ago. This was my first, like, face palette. So it has... It says this is a blush, but it's really not a blush. It's a bronze. It's a contour. So it has this contour, then a bronzer, which is very orangey. But I, again, I got this when I first started collecting and st first started wearing makeup. So please give me a break about it. Um, but And then it has this highlight. This highlight is also really good, which I've also hit pan on. And then he, right here, I have this... Morphe single eyeshadow. It is in the shade I'm so fancy and it's just this silver color going back into this I have Just some tape so when I'm like doing really dramatic ones or just want a really nice cut line and then going in here again I have this wet and wild brush that came with the blush I had back into here I have this Clinique eyeshadow the next thing I have is another Clinique eyeshadow. I'm going to start with this first part. It's just a little block. Right here on top, I have my newest highlighter. It's the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Vivid Baked Highlighter. My bronzer that I use normally is this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It is in the shade Bronzer. This type of bronzer only has two shades. I forget what the first 
the other shade is called, but this is just in the shade bronzer. At the bottom of this pile, I have my, my loose powder, my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And then I just have my eyelash curler, and my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And then right here, I just have a little... Their real push up liner trial size. In here, I have my only two ColourPop lipsticks. They're both ultra matte. This one is. This one is Limbo, and this one is Lumiere 2. And then I have this Clinique lip liner in the shade 08 Intense Cosmo. And I have those in there. And then in all here, I have all like eye and eyebrow stuff. This is a Marc Jacobs, I'm pretty sure it's a gel eyeliner, a gel, yeah. It's highliner gel crayon in the shade black. And then this is just a Milani eye pencil in the shade, oh, it was, it was cut off, but it said gold and then it was something else, but it was cut off because it's so short. This is an Essence eyeliner pen, the waterproof one. This is just in the shade 01. The next thing I have is just a Clinique eyeliner in the shade 05 Intense Charcoal. The next thing I have after that is an e.l.f. pencil. It, it just says e.l.f. and it's the black. Next thing I have is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. The last thing I have is the Benefit Goof Proof Bout. The Benefit Goo, oh uh, my gosh, such a tongue twister. The Benefit, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. There you go. It just has a spoolie on one end. A spoolie on one end and just the product on the other. And it's the one that is like sideways and it's not just the stick. And this is so awesome. But I got a shade too dark. I got the shade 5 and I'm actually the 4. I'll start with this lipstick. This is my Marc Jacobs lipstick that also came with my little set birthday set from Sephora. It is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang 216. The next thing in this is just a Sephora lipstick in, again, a mini um, this was just a trial the lady at Sephora gave me. This That's weird, it's in here. Sephora Rogue Matte in shade M11, I think it is. The next thing I have is just a chapstick from Avon, but I took off the wrapper because it wasn't a very pretty wrapper. The next thing I have is... Ah, dropped them. Two ColourPop lip glosses. These came as a trial size in my ColourPop order. This one is in Piranha, and then this is in the shade we Weho or Weho or one of those two. And then I have four Clinique lipsticks. And this is All Heart. It's such a gorgeous lip color. And then I have this in Creamy Nude. This is just a straight nude. It's a little darker than my actual skin tone. So when I wear this, I usually wear it with Piranha so it is the exact color I want. This is pretty much my favorite everyday lip color. I wear this whenever I like have minimal makeup on and don't know really what lip to choose, I always go with bamboo pink. The last Clinique lipstick I have is a different grape, and it's just like a darker purple, but it's not like really dark. Up here I have two more Clinique lipsticks, but these are the chubby sticks. This one is in Marty Mightiest Maraschino. It's just a bright cherry red lipstick. But then again, if you are afraid of color, this one, this lipstick, is such a great thing to go with. It is a, in Super Strawberry. The other one was in like, the other one was a chubby stick intense and this is just a normal chubby stick. And my last two things, I don't have lipsticks, I have eyeliner. I have two e.l.f. eyeliners. These also came with a little set. This is a blue eyeliner. It is in the shade 
midnight it is almost black when you swatch this it actually looks black but then I have this one in jet black okay finally finishing up I behind all of these you can't really tell but there's just this one long container and I house all my foundations which isn't a lot because I only have two a primer and my one concealer my concealer is just my Maybelline New York fit me concealer it's in the shade 15 fair and then my two foundations is a yeah a covergirl foundation and a clinique foundation this is my summer shade but i'm a little too dark for this shade so i just mix a little bit of my summer shade and i mix two pumps of this and a little tiny squirt of this and it makes my perfect shade this is in the shade l1 and this is in the shade 02 fresh ivory then I have my primer which I'm running out of and I need new new primer but this is just the Maybelline New York baby skin primer the instant pour eraser and I can vouch for this this is an instant pour eraser um this is the only primer I've tried so I can't really dupe it to something else but I fe I've seen a lot that it's a really good dupe for the professional primer. The last thing I have is the first thing I've ever stored my makeup in, which was this little pink caboodle box. I got it from Lainey for my, th it was either my 12th or my 13th birthday, I forget. But this was from Lainey. And then in this, it just slides open and has a mirror. I think I'm going to first go through my palettes. Which, I have all of my palettes, which is only three, but it's not that much. Um, three makeup palettes in the main compartment. This is the Morphe 350 palette. I bought this with my money from my birthday money, and it's such a gorgeous palette. Honestly, I love it so much. And then my second Morphe palette that I got. I mean, this was in the same order, but I knew for sure I would want the Morphe 350 first. And then I would want uh, the Morphe 35F. And then I have my Lorac, Lorac Mega Pro palette too. This I got from my parents last year for Christmas. This was my first ever like proper just eyeshadow palette. And it, it's gotten through a lot. I haven't hit pan on anything, but I'm really close to hitting pan on Prosecco and Burlap. This is just a little place where I usually cut my brushes. And I actually have even more lipsticks in here. Big surprise. Uh, I'll go through my lipsticks first. This is just a Juicy Tubes gloss. This is a Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade 16 Candy. This is another Estee Lauder um lipstick it is in poodle skirt it is bright bright pink and it's just not an everyday color that i would wear this is like barbie pink it's not even okay and then i have this mars satin lip i don't even know how to say the shade it's like rikugan and it's dead like there's barely anything left i don't even know why i keep this i just do and then i have my, this milk chocolate lipstick that Lainey made for me in a box swap. Then I have this Shiseo um, sunscreen. It's still in this box because I haven't used it yet. And then I have another Estee Lan Lauder um, eye primer. Yeah, another... I don't know why all this Estee Lauder, Lauder stuff came from my mom. This is a bronzer in natural glow. It's a star bronzer in natural glow. This is super orange. I don't know why I keep it. Again, I just do. I don't know why. It's just gonna, is it just gonna turn into a great thing? Oh, I missed a lip product. This is a little liquid lip color in America. Well, the brand is American Beauty. The shade is 03 Plush Rose. And this isn't like a liquid lipstick. This doesn't dry matte. It's like, is a dry satin. Not even satin, it just dries like, it doesn't even dry, it's just like glossy. And But it's a really pretty color, but I don't wear it that much. 
And then I have this Maybelline palette that one of my guy friends got for me for my birthday last year. I really like these two colors together, but I don't have any... And I would keep this in my main one if I had the room, but I don't have any room for it. And then I just have this old, really, old, really old, which I should also probably throw out, BB cream in a shade 810 light to medium by CoverGirl. This is like their old packaging, old, 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 really old. This was like from two years ago. And again, it's not my shade. I'm pretty sure it stinks. Like. I'm pretty sure that's why I stopped using it. Yeah, because I don't like the smell and it's really low coverage. It's just like, it's more of a moisturizer, a really, really low tinted moisturizer than a BB cream, honestly. But that was it for my makeup collection. Um, it's probably a super long video and I apologize, but yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked my new storage. Well, it's not new to you, but it's new to me, so. Also, subscribe for videos every weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye!